Hello everyone. So now that we have a decent understanding on what a MOSFET looks like and what does the drain current models, what is the threshold voltage model for a MOSFET, I think this is the best time to introduce you to SPICE and then we will, what we'll do, we'll feed in the correct inputs to the SPICE engine. SPICE is basically a software, it's an engine that has the, that has already the predefined models which we derived in the upper slides, we, the, the models are already a part of the SPICE engine. We need to feed in the correct values of the inputs to the engine, the correct net list to the engine and that's it the spice will derive some waveforms for, for you and these waveforms can be eventually used to calculate the delay of a cell so this current and voltage uh, the current waveforms that we are going to derive out of out of a MOSFET those are the basic backup for your delays for the, for your for the delays that you will be deriving for the cell and these delays will be are the accurate delays that will be used to do some STA or the static timing analysis simulations so this is the this is the basic groundwork for it okay so we have this we had this MOSFET will the first step is to create a correct spice setup so we have understood the models and we have done everything but now 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 the now the next part is to put this models is to feed these models in a correct way to the spice engine so that the spice understand it and evaluates the drain current equations the way you wanted it to be the way you expect it to be okay so let's look into that so we had this we have had uh, this was the this was the this was the MOSFET that we had that we have been using we had applied the D VDS voltage we had applied the gate to source voltage we had grounded we had grounded the source and the substrate okay and there were some model parameters or there were some models that we derived for example the, this was the threshold voltage equations where VT was the uh, VT was the threshold voltage and VTO was the threshold voltage in the absence of VBS okay gamma was the body effect coefficient we talked about that phi f is the fermi potential which which eventually comes up to this particular equation so this these are the, these are more complex and deep dive equations that we would be looking into when we are looking into the physics lectures for this semiconductor device physics okay so for now these are the model files these are the models that will represent this particular mosfet okay and this is these are all what we have looked in the from the beginning of this of these lectures Next is we all we have derived at the linear region drain current equation. So for hand calculations, what we had done, we had just ignored the right hand side term, which was the, the extreme term, which was VDS square by two, because we we, we assumed that the uh, the VDS is so low that VDS square by two eventually can be can be approximated to zero. But and why we had done that to do some hand calculations and identified that drain current was actually a function, a linear function of VDS. Okay, but let's keep it keep it for now for some time to get even more accurate values for ID because now this is not what we are doing this is what the engine will do so you can feed as many variables uh, uh, to the engine and this can be a more better approximation of the drain current okay so this was the linear linear region drain current equation for the same MOSFET and when the MOSFET goes into saturation region this was the this was the drain current equation for the saturation region so you had the it, we identified it was it was a quadratic function but it was again dependent on some small value of VDS is just to increase the accuracy of the drain current okay and this particular factor we are going to derive this in a separate in a separate semiconductor device physics video so let's keep it for now keep it separate for now but this was the saturation region drain current equation for this MOSFET okay so we had we had all this we have we have the background of all these equations where these equations are coming from okay so some things that are constants in this particular equation for example let's say the ones which are highlighted in highlighted in yellows this one this one this one and this one these are constants these are called technology constants so for example if you work on a technology node let's say 1.2 micron or 180 nanometers these comes as a constants from the foundries so you need not derive this ones these are already coming as constants from the foundry so you need not worry about them and for every each and every technology for each and every technology node for for let's say for 1.2 micron for 180 nanometers for 20 nanometers every technology node will have its unique value okay so these values are constants and so we not, we need not worry about them so th these are these are the ones that you provide to the engine through a through a special file it's called the model file okay and you you provide this ones and then and the next thing that you provide to your spice engine is the netlist i'll come to that so the, for, first of all let's try to conclude this ones these yellow highlighted ones are called as spice model parameters and this comes at as constants it's only the right way to provide this particular model parameters to your spice engine 
that's what we have to be we, we have to take care we have to take a lot of care about this one okay so this has to be correct to get to derive the correct voltage and current waveforms for any for any spice engine or for any set of mosfets so to begin with we have to identify that whether the model model files or model parameters are coming from the correct technology node or not that's the first level of checks and that, that that's the first level of inputs that you would need to set up a spice okay so these are the spice model parameters plus you give the spice netlist so i'll come to this netlist how did we exactly got this netlist from the mosfet that we were learning i'll come to this one but spice model parameters and the spice netlist if you feed both of them to your spice software or the spice engine this is what you get you get you have this drain current you have this drain current axis you have the voltage axis and uh, you have the your ids and vds axis and you have this different curves at different values of vgs so we, we have looked into one of them for example we were looking into a vgs equal to 1 volts in the previous in the previous equation in the previous uh, lectures where part of it was a linear and part of it had gone into saturation region so i'll come to this waveforms as well so this is what the spice setup should look like you should be provide you should be providing the spice model parameters you should which are which are this technology constants in a special way i'll come to that when we look into the actual syntax of the spice of the spice netlist of the spice deck we call it a spice deck we need to provide the spice netlist in a special way so this mosfet can't be provided as it is but there is a special way to provide this mosfet a special syntax to provide this mosfet to the to your spice engine so we will club the spice netlist we will club the spice model parameters and together when once it is fed to a spice software this is what you get okay so this is a basic introduction of how does your spice overall how does the spice works out now let's try to get into details of the spice netlist so for example look we we'll look into the uh, spice netlist and there will be some detailed discussion on this one so this is this is the mosfet that we have been working on and this mosfet the logical symbol of this nmos this N, this particular nmos can be described something like this okay so let's try to look into each and every uh, each and every uh, corner of this one so this will be your drain this is your vds so this is your drain this is your source this is your vd this is your vs this is your gate so this is the gate this is the gate this is your vsb or the substrate terminal this is the drain terminal this is the source terminal okay so we have connected this one to vds which says that for now we will be connecting this one to vdd so your vds becomes from this point to this point and the voltage across this point is this one is this supply voltage okay we have connected a protection resistance to uh, to the gate and then provided the supply because that there are some there are some reasons the uh, the the supply will be uh, will be throwing some current over here and we don't want to feed the current directly to the gate it might it might damage your gate there are some reasons for that and I'll, I'll talk talk about that in in other in other videos so there are some reasons that the that, that the we don't want the current from this supply to enter directly into the gate and 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 destroy this region so yeah this, uh, this that, that's why we have this protection resistance that will limit the amount of current that goes into it okay so so this is a setup so you have you have this mosfet you have the resistance you are applying some gate voltage you are applying some you are applying some drain voltage and then the and and your substrate and the source are connected to ground okay and these this is these one are all variable so this is again a variable input voltage this is a variable supply voltage so we will be varying this one and this one in such a steps that we get those equations in one shot we get we get those waveforms in, in a single shot okay so that's what we are going to do let's try to simplify this netlist so we just clubbed all the vss in a, in a single in a single way and then we name each and every one of them so we call it as vin let's call this one as vin which is going to the gate let's call this one as r1 okay this let's call this is as m1 this is vdd and this is vss so this is your spice netlist our next job is to feed this spice netlist in a special format to this spice okay so spice understands a, a, a particular syntax it just like c or c++ program it understands things in a certain syntax we'll be looking into certain syntactical syntactical values of of this how to how to feed this particular mosfet to your to your device so let's try to let's try to look into all this in the next video thank you